Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary, this is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Mish Mash Monday. Today I am doing a complete final flip through of my butterfly journal. So uh, it is all complete and this is how it looks. I've uh, created the tassel. I'll go through that as well. But that is how my butterfly journal turned out. I am really, really happy with this. Um, the quality of this journal is just a step up of my last journal. So, you know, each time I do something, I like to just improve just a little bit. So I think I have achieved that. I am so excited. So I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to go through this journal thoroughly. All right, I decided to just bring the camera in a little closer and I'm going to show you my uh, journal in this way. I think it'll be a little easier for me. So this is my completed journal. I'm going to go through it thoroughly. So this cardstock was sent to me uh, and, and I'm not sure who sent it to me, but I thought it was just perfect for this because it has metallic butterflies on it. So I used it for the front, uh, the back, and the front. And then this is a card right here with this girl on it. And there's butterflies and she's holding some pearls. That came off a package um, that... Uh, Jack had purchased these stamps. They look like real stamps, but they're for crafting. That was the package, and I thought that was perfect. I'm going to remove the tassel that I have hooked on there with a gold uh, paper clip. I'm going to show that to you afterwards. Uh, so that's how the cover was created. Then the spine is this brown denim uh, material. I thought was a good sturdy material for the spine. Uh, Jack and I had this in our closet. Our RV curtains were made out of this and we had some left over and I thought it was perfect. Trimmed it just to give it a finished look with this um, uh, lace uh, trim that I got from Dollar Tree both front and back. And then for the closure I also got this a ribbon from Dollar Tree um, and it's a different one, but it's, it came from the same, uh, you know, from Dollar Tree as well. That's how I just tie it closed. Let me untie it. Uh, I just tie it closed with that. And I left plenty of ribbon for, uh, you know, the closure. And all I did with the closure is I glued it on the back spine, left it hanging like that, embellished it with one of those butterflies that I got from uh, BB Craft. And okay, let's get into this. Oh, let me tell you about the metal uh, butterfly here and the corner pieces that I have here and on the back. Those metal pieces were sent to me by Leanna over at It's a Deal and I loved that. So got that glued on. Let's get into this and show you what I've done. So the inside, I left that. That's how this cardboard came. I liked the color and I left it just like that. Here's a journaling card. I uh, also put behind the journaling card, I kind of framed it with this gold cardstock metallic paper, a wood butterfly right there. The inner spine is this craft paper that I distressed. I also stenciled butterflies on it with some uh, textured paste. And you're going to see this throughout the journal. Uh, I made tuck spots, corner pockets, and tags out of this because I did several of those. All right, here's my first signature. I have this large die cut from Dollar Tree that I glued. And this signature, let me show you that. See how the butterfly is folded in half and it kind of uh, keeps that signature together. Uh, glued that in there. And then each uh, envelope, because that's what this signature is made out of, is all these envelopes put together. Have this metallic gold cardstock 
to uh, kind of give it some more strength uh, for the envelopes. When you open the envelope, the inside of the envelope is, uh, I put some, uh, this green paper and I stamped black butterflies all over. And, and that's the inside. Then the center of the envelope, the two centers of the envelope, have this uh, sticker. It's the flower. Here's a uh, copy paper that I distressed with, um, I don't know if that was alcohol ink or distress ink. It might have been distress ink. And then right here I clipped this journaling card with this paper clip. Here is another envelope, distressed it as well. Here's an acetate butterfly. A purple cardstock that I stamped butterflies. Here's another corner pocket with that gold glitter paper. Here's one of those tags that um, is done with the uh, craft paper and distressed uh, that and then I stenciled butterflies. Tuck that right in here. Well, let, well, let me show you the journaling card that's in there. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure which way this goes. Oh, I think it goes this way. This journaling card gets tucked right in that corner pocket along with that tag. So get that put back in there. Some more spaces to write some copy paper right there. And then right here, uh, when you open this page, you have two envelopes that I put together and they fold out. And then in each of the envelopes are some journaling cards. But on the envelopes, I stamped um, uh, the butterflies on there. And then I stenciled some butterflies also with that textured paste. Here's the uh, next envelope, uh, another die cut butterfly. Open that up and you have uh, some more butterflies um, in the background stamped in black like before. And then two belly bands made out of that gold cardstock. It's a thick uh, glitter cardstock. And then in each of the belly bands I have some journaling cards and some more of those tags. So, and the twine of all the tags is this gold uh, twine. My sister found that at the thrift store and she found a lot of it. I mean, it was a lot. So I have used it for many, many projects, but I knew that I needed to use it for all the tag, all the tags. And so, um, you know, I just, I just used it. I don't have much left now. All right, let me get this all together. Okay, next page. Here's the other part of that uh, die cut butterfly. Here's a sentiment right there. I tried to find sentiments in that uh, Tim Holtz book, uh, all to do with wings. And then here's some copy paper that was distressed. Um, here is uh, some more of these tags, another journaling card, and then another corner pocket. Let's see, am I showing you? Yep, there's the corner pocket. So I'm going to put those back in here. Oh, i got to lay it down to do it. Put my tag back in. Flip the page. And you have the other part of the butterfly right here. Uh, some more copy paper that's been distressed. And right here is the uh, last page of the signature. So I tucked some postcards right in here and then created this belly band right there. And let me show you the postcards I created. So I took some photo paper uh, and then some distress ink on my glass mat, spritzed it with water, and then laid the photo paper down multiple times uh, to get the background. And I do that. I make greeting cards that way, too. 
And I don't spritz the uh, photo paper. It takes the ink really, really well. So I made two of them. And then on the back side, I stamp, I have a stamp, a large stamp that I can create postcards. So I was stamping these two, and I accidentally put this with it too soon, and it didn't dry. It's smudged. And I was talking to my dear, dear friend, uh, Melissa, over at By Mimi With Love, and I said, oh, I messed that up. I'm going to have to redo that card or that postcard. And she goes, don't do it. Leave it in there. So uh, my instinct was to throw it away and do it again, but she goes, it looks perfect. It's distressed, and it looks great. Here's the back of that first signature. Here's the second part of that book, large die cut butterfly. And then here's a journaling card. So that is the first signature. Second signature is a little simpler. Uh, I have this um, uh, textured paper. I got that from American Craft Warehouse when I was visiting family in Utah. So this is how the signature looks. I did it as a trifold. So you can see it, that it opens up like that. And then I, I on the inside, I put this cardstock. And I think I got that from Hobby Lobby. It's out of a paper pad. So you can see how that opens up. Let's see if I can do that right, like that. And then all the pages are distressed copy paper or graft paper. These, all of these, there's no tuck spots, no belly bands, no... Uh, pockets or anything like that. I just wanted this to be a writing portion. And then a lot of the uh, corners have butterfly stickers. So that's the middle section. The butterflies that are right here were gifted to me by my sweet friend Kim over at Kim's Inspired Life. I love those and they went perfect. So that's the middle signature. Just I wanted it to just be a writing section. All right, here's the third section, a die cut. Did kind of what I did on the first signature. Uh, folded butterflies in half. Then he, these are the craft stamps that I was telling you about. They look like real postage stamps, but they're not. And then you open this up, and this cardstock is from Hobby Lobby. A little writing spot there. Some uh, This paper I had in my stash... And it came with those stripes, but then on the opposite side, I stamped butterflies in brown. I'm trying to see if I can move this a little better so I'm not holding my hand in a weird place. Okay. Uh, this is a tuck spot. Here's some more of that craft paper that I stenciled butterflies on. So this is a little tuck spot with two of those uh, tags. So they just go right here flip it over and uh, this page I just love that paper in the background just a bunch of uh, leaves and then I created this pocket and it's just this square piece of cardstock that I folded not completely in half but you can see how I folded it there put a butterfly there and then I have this little card that I embossed added a little bit of washi tape and a um, butterfly sticker. So it's a little card, and then the envelope is a um, vellum envelope. So that goes there. On the opposite page, there's another one. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Here it is. So I did the same thing. This is the same page, but the uh, envelope the pocket is on the lower portion of this uh, and this one's on the upper portion uh, some more distressed copy paper here is a bag from Dollar Tree I put a, a springy butterfly got that from Dollar Tree and then the bag this is the bottom portion of the bag and then I added some uh, journaling cards right there and then the bottom portion of the bag, there's a little tuck spot. And there's a little butterfly tag. More distressed uh, copy paper. I did that with alcohol spray. Here is a vellum envelope you open up. And inside are a bunch of little die cut uh, butterflies in gold. And it says, uh, open your mind. So did that. 
this page is the center page of this um, signature. Again, all my signatures are uh, tied in with this elastic band and you tie it with a square knot. So then I created this pocket with this um, paper and then I got a, I have a punch that does the edges like that. So I created the pocket, but the, the um, card stock that's in the background is a green wood look. And then here on each side, I did a postcard. Um, I did some journaling cards and just a bunch of goodies on this middle section. Here's another vellum envelope. It has some uh, uh, journaling cards in there. I just love that paper. I didn't want to cover that up. Another uh, page to write on, more copy paper that's been distressed. Here's the uh, other half of the bag. Again, another little springy butterfly. Right here is this little file folder. This was sent to me by Kim over at Kim's Inspired Live, had some butterflies. And then the bag, you open the bag, there's some journaling cards here and some journaling cards here more distressed copy paper and I did show you this already and then this has uh, let's see if I can pull that out it has a journaling card in it and I'll have to pull that out in a minute uh, here's a tuck spot and it has some more of those tags and then it also has this you can journal on and it was just uh, a larger piece that was left over. So I just folded it in half and tucked it right in there along with the tags. Here's the other part of that um, paper. Let me see if I can straighten this up because it's getting kind of off a little bit. Uh, here's some more of that uh, paper that I had in my stash that had the stripes already, but then I stamped the brown butterflies on there. This, I just think that paper's gorgeous, so I left it as is, and then there's a, a circled journaling card. Uh, here is the last page, and on the last page I have this tab, and you pull out this journaling card there and then on the front side there was one too I forgot about that and this journaling card is at the front of the signature and it's in a pocket so that is in there I'll put that away in a minute so here is the back of the signature this paper comes from a paper pad from a Hobby Lobby. I love it. I love it. Has a little bit of a shimmer shine on it. And then here's um, a stamp from that stamp set that are like just for crafting. Here's the back page. Another journaling card that is framed with some gold cardstock and then a wood butterfly. Matches, kind of matches the front. A journaling card where I stamped Rosemary's You Rock Art, but I stamped the Rosemary's You Rock Art on on copy paper and then I put it on because I wasn't too confident that I would get it right in the center. 222 right at the bottom for when I created this and then this butterfly I die cut uh, with a whole I think it was a yeah it was a punch butterfly that I punched it out twice with uh, um, with a punch of from music paper and doubled it up then I put a little pearl right there. So that is the journal, all completed. Uh, here is, let me go ahead and tie it up. And, um, well, actually, I'm not going to do that because I still have to put the journaling cards in. But let me show you the tassel. So the tassel is made out of all the stuff that is in the journal. Um, so some of this gold um, twine, that's at, uh, that makes the... Um, or that's part of the tags. And then here is the same lace. And to embellish it, I just put some more gems on the lace all through it. The closure is a brown twine that I did the puff top with. And then 
at the end of each brown twine, not each, but when I, the ones that tie it together, I put these beads, pearl beads, and then where the, where it's tied with the puff top, I put this acrylic butterfly, same one that I did on the spine, and then right here I glued in this pearl, and there is the tassel, and I attach the tassel with a gold paper clip, and I don't know, I don't see that. Oh, here it is. So I just attach it to the edge of the spine with a gold paper clip. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to all coordinate together. And I thought that did very well. So that's how that looks. So... I am very, very happy with this way this turned out. I just really enjoyed the process, learning uh, more about how to create tuck spots, pockets, belly bands, how, the best glues to use. So I'm, I'm very grateful to Melissa and her channel is by Mimi with Love. She has really been helping me and just uh, guiding me along. So I think that's why this journal is turning out so much better. And I'm very happy with this. I really uh, am, am enjoying it. Um, I'm actually right, uh, starting a new journal. And it's uh, uh, taking an actual uh, storybook apart. And the storybook is called Benjamin Bunny. It's so cute. I'll be sharing that with you guys on Wednesday. So Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock on my channel, um, Melissa and I are going to be doing a live so uh, I'll be sharing what I'm doing with that new journal called the Benjamin Bunny. Because I, I have a little bit done already on it. And then Melissa's working on a bunny journal also. So we're working on it together. So uh, that will be fun. I hope you guys come back for that. All right. I hope you liked this flip through of my butterfly journal. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit on Mishmash Monday. I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock!